Hey there, this is Adam Jones from Boat Life. Hope you guys are well. Today's a bit of a different day. I'm down here in Sulcombe. It is absolutely perfect. There's no wind, beautiful sunshine. And I've invited Mr. John Locker and his family, so Hannah and James are gonna be making their way down from Falmouth, or up, should I say, to Sulcombe. Uh, we're gonna go out on an iron 647 and have some fun on the water. I know it's a little bit different to what John usually drives, but a man like John that's been around the water, as long as he has, will be able to give me um, a little bit of his thoughts of the iron boat, which is obviously being lent to us by the Wolf Rock Boat Company, who incidentally we are really pleased to have uh, exhibiting at next year's show, as well as the previous shows that they've exhibited at. So let's go grab the boat. Um, I'm just waiting for John and the guys to arrive, and then we're gonna head out of Sulcombe Harbour and have a little bit of fun on what looks like it's going to be a perfect day. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's got a balanced feel to it. Oh. <laughs> might be a pollock. <laughs> yeah, I've got a fiver on pollock. <laughs> yeah, I can see something. I've got colour. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, well done, mate. Look at that. You go to the back. I just lost a fiver, James. You can buy the fish and chips. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's a stunner. Them teeth and them lips in there, but. <laughs> Crazy. What do you think of that, James? It is so good. <laughs> that was awesome. It is a good four pound rust, that. Go 
Does it feel like a good one? That's a good pollock. Look at that. Right. What do you think of that? That's so good. That's a good keeper fish. That's a decent pollock. Wow, James. Oh, Tell you what, you're nailing them today, son. Yep. Look, there's your sister. Just, I got just some a quarter of this, man. And a big Can I just toss this one to you? Yeah. Watch the book. Gosh. Look at that. Oh, that's wicked. That's a spinner of a pollock, isn't it, James? Yep. And because you brought it up so gentle, yep. I think he's going to go back. Right, there are some lice, if you can see, just on top of his head there. Oh, yeah. Unlike the other lice that was on his tail. You ready for him to go back? Yeah. Go. Oh, there he goes. Right, so I said I was going to go out with John. You've just seen us on the water. Mr. John Locker, how are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. We're down in Solcombe. We're outside the Wolfrock Boat Company's new unit down here at the Slip in Solcombe. It has been a seriously, seriously good day. Blue skies, light winds, um, and John has been on an iron boat for the first time with the family. First of all, did you enjoy it? I did, I did especially. Yeah. Um, yeah, stunning boat. I, the way it was described to me, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Right. So when I stepped on it, and it when I stepped on it, and it didn't, yeah, that was the first thing. Incredibly stable, and yeah. then as we picked the speed up coming out of Solcombe, yeah, it was impressive. Yeah. yeah, it's a good fun boat. I mean, obviously we couldn't resist taking the, the uh, fishing rods with us. <laughs> James managed to catch a couple of really nice fish. It's straight, well, yeah, you can see he's, he's from good blood. That's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. First drop straight into a nice like four pound stunning balanrass, and yeah. then. Took us out a little, took us a little bit offshore onto a wreck, and then two drifts, two pollock one after the other. It's amazing. Well, incidentally, somebody else that was at the show last year with the guys from Navionics, John using the Navionics app to excellent uh, use while we were out there. <laughs> Noticed it on his phone, took the boat straight there, used the Garmin to find the spot, and uh, pretty much wherever we were over the right bit of structure, we caught fish. James seemed to love love being on the water. Loved it. Uh, James and I love it, it doesn't matter how rough it is, how flat it is. Hannah, yeah, yeah that's, that's Hannah's type of boat in Hannah's type of conditions. She, uh, she doesn't like it, uh, she doesn't like it as cold or as rough as what me and James do, but yeah, even she loved it. She yeah. even said, didn't she, on the way, and she was like, oh, actually, even when we we're going a good 35 knots, she was like, yeah, I, I can handle this. It was yeah. incredibly stable, even at high speeds. Yeah, it's a seriously good hull. I mean, the Oki Manifold hull on the, the iron boats is, you know, obviously comes from great pedigree, and you can feel that when you're on the boat. Like you said, very, very stable, but as soon as you start going up through the speed ranges, it wants to go faster and faster, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we got it to 44 knots coming back through, and it was, yeah, it was everything 20, 25, 30, and it was up, and it yeah. was gone. And then as soon as it kind of settled, settled itself, when I mean, you were up on the bow, and you were, it's great. Yeah, it's really, really good. I wouldn't work pots in it, but yeah, for, <laughs> for, for that, for... For what we did, it was stunning. Yeah, stunning boat. Blasting around, having some fun. It's an excellent boat. Obviously, from the guys at the Wolf Rock Boat Company, um, who are going to be joining us at next year's show, and we're really, really excited to have them back. They were with us for the previous two years, and they're going to be with us. Both of us will be there at the show in January, um, in February, sorry, and so will the Wolf Rock. So, um, what's been going on with the fish locker? I can't but ask John about what's been going on. He's been in Canada. Yeah. Um, tell us about Canada. Just, it's it's been a really busy time of year. I mean, yeah. we've not we've not stopped 
probably the last three months. We did California and then we're straight back into work and then we've been lucky enough to go to Canada as well. Amazing. So yeah, it was stunning. We are in British Columbia, Vancouver. We did, did nearly two weeks, uh, five days at a lodge, which was, as you've seen the videos, the videos yeah. we just posted, the sturgeon fishing we had there was just Biblical. bucket list. It yeah. was, I've been wanting to do it for 20 odd years. Yeah. So for me to be able to do it and, and in that setting, that awe inspiring setting with my family was just perfect for me. Amazing. So yeah, I'm still on a high with that. We're, we're recovering from a bit of sunburn well, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. And then the fishing straight back into amazing fishing back home. Yeah. We just need this weather to, to kind of hang been, on to this and then we'll be laughing. We've been fighting for it all summer. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos, go and check out John's channel. Um, today was great fun. Thank you very much for coming to see us. It's My been pleasure. a pleasure. Good to see you on a different boat. I even saw you kind of getting slightly excited, a bit of a smile on your face as you were plowing that boat through the waves. Yeah, when, you, when you're on a boat like that, going at space like that, you can't help but smile. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think even Hannah potentially was trying not to smile at points and uh, you just pushed, yeah. pushed, pushed until she did. Yeah. Um, awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Um, we will see you very soon. We're actually off down to Portsmouth to do some fishing um, with a few of the boats that you'll be seeing at next year's show as well, uh, as well as catching up with Richard, the main organiser from the show, as well as many, many more. So keep an eye on the channel for that and we will see you guys very, very soon.